Hello lovelies, welcome back to another video of the world of Gem. I am Pretty Gem and in today's video, I'm going to share ways that I practice detachment. I know this is not ideal. I know a lot of people don't do this, but it has helped me personally just not be attached to things, people, the past. Just in general, I feel like having a sense of detachment from everything because everything is temporary just gives you more peace in your life and you're able to live a more carefree lifestyle than hyper fixating on everything so one way that i practice attachment is to allow old photos to be deleted like whenever i get a new phone or for some reason my icloud is full and i can't transfer everything over i don't stress about the pictures that i have lost or the memories that i have lost in the old phone if i were to lose my phone today and lose absolutely everything on this phone i kid you not i would not care it's not like i would lose my mind over it yes i would be sad because a lot of the memories that i have in the pictures they're nice to look at and reminisce on you know but then again i'm not super attached to them so it's not like i would cry over it a lot of the videos and photos from past relationships and i this is something that i'm big on i delete immediately or depending on how long it takes me to like go through the process if for some reason it's been years and i just haven't deleted the pictures if i come across them i will delete them if I feel like it. There are some pictures that I do keep just because they are important to me, but not every single picture that I have, even from when like, I was younger, from like high school or middle school, even like sports. I did a ton of sports and drill team and stuff like that. I've never kept any of those pictures. And just because in my mind, I think this was a moment in my life, I, it's been lived. I already lived it, I experienced it. It is what it is and it was what it was then and I can't do anything to change it or anything. I feel like a lot of the memories that are meaningful to us and that had impact in our lives are carried in our hearts and our memories we don't necessarily need specific things to remember them because i know that whenever something happens in my life a memory will randomly pop up or a feeling or a sensation of something that happened a long time ago and i know that's a memory i have and i carry with me so it's more of allowing the memories to come naturally to me than to always have something to remind me of stuff from the past. And it just allows me to move through my life a little more carefree than being attached to past experiences, people, or who I was in the past. Um, once again, old stuff. I know a lot of people might have like a box of things, you know, from the past or things that just or sentimental to them and i'm not saying this is a bad thing like i said it might be different for everybody i'm just sharing my perspective and my experience i don't keep old stuff with me so i know that i had uh i was in drill team like i said i had pom-poms cheer uniforms like uh soccer uniforms old cleats that i used to wear just stuff like that like if I haven't touched it and used it in more than two, three years, I don't see a purpose in keeping it and having it in my house, in my space. Like, I will throw it out, even if it's good stuff. And my mom is super against that. She likes to hoard everything and keep stuff. I'm more of a like declutter, like what can I get rid of? If I haven't used a shirt or a pair of shoes in years, even though it still looks good, like, and I know I'm not gonna wear it anymore, I will get rid of it, like I will throw it out. Just because I just don't wanna be, I just don't see a reason why to have an attachment to stuff. And like, that helps me, like I said, just move through life less stressed and attached to things. Because when things happen, you're gonna lose stuff. You are going to go through a lot of changes when you're growing up even places you might lose friends people experiences whatever that you had in the moment it's not going to last forever and we're 
forever shifting and changing and this is easier to, for you to just adjust live in the moment enjoy the things that you have now because you never know how long they're going to last you never know how long you're going to have them for and the last thing is that I don't get too too excited about new stuff so whenever I get like a brand new pair of earrings I appreciate their earrings I think they're beautiful I enjoy wearing them I feel beautiful but if it's me and it is me I know for a fact I'm going to end up losing one at some point like <laughs> and I know they're going they're not going to last forever so when I do lose the earring I'm not like super sad about it I'm just like oh it's fine it was just a pair of earrings so I used to get really 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 excited when I was young and I feel like that's one of the things that like was nice when you're really young you get excited like super ecstatic over new experiences going places or like just getting new things even for Christmas like and I feel like it's part of growing older too but approaching life in a more centered way and grounded way where you're able to enjoy stuff and be happy about it but not too euphoric where you're going to be devastated if something were to happen to it or you lose something or all of a sudden it's gone you know and I think growing up has taught me how to let go of things a lot easier so whenever I do get new stuff I appreciate it I'm happy I'm grateful for it but I don't get too happy and excited over it just because I know that something could happen to whatever it is that I got new at any time when I got my phone <laughs> recently my brand new phone um, I did get a case on it because the last phone <laughs> that I that I got I broke it within like two weeks of having it <laughs> and I was so mad <laughs> I was so mad and I'm not saying I'm like perfect at it because this is something that I practice constantly but these things help me practice detachment when my, um, my last video was my car getting broken into, that I was not okay for. I'm going to tell you the good stuff right now. I was super attached to that car. <laughs> it was my baby. And nothing had ever happened to it. So when the windows got shattered, and then they told me how much I had to pay for it, whatever. Like, practicing detachment even to, like, money, because I had to pay that much money to get it fixed and my car and not being perfect for a little bit the windows looked really ugly and I had to drive it with some nasty ba black bags on it and like I was cruising I mean I was cruising down the street <laughs> in this busted out car and I was like I do not feel cute right now like <laughs> it was not ideal I was upset but it also taught me a lot in how to just take things for what they are like it made me appreciate my money my car the fact that I have a running car the fact that I was able to even fix it and that the car didn't get stolen like it could have been worse it could always be worse so maybe just be grateful for the things that you have in the moment and when they're gone let them go like process the feelings the emotions but don't hold them dearly to your core and you know dwell in it like be able to just practice detachment let things go and flow because our lives are never ending and flowing and changing by the seasons and we never know what's gonna happen tomorrow to be honest so just enjoy the things that you have now and let them go when it's time to let them go blessings i hope you guys enjoyed my little video practicing detachment like i said these are things that work for me they don't have to work for you this is just what i do and I, sometimes i do it unconsciously and it's only when i make these kind of videos that i bring it up and talk about it that i'm like mm, you know why i do do that like <laughs> but blessings i love you guys thank you so much for watching my video Please like, comment, subscribe. We continue to grow and I can't wait to see how many subscribers we have by the end of the year. Love you guys. See you in the next one.